Welcome to another episode of Rethu the Explore Travel Vlog. In this episode, we will take you on a virtual journey through one of Norway's most mesmerizing fish market, situated in Bergen. So, let's talk about the picturesque fish market in Bergen, Norway. It's actually one of the most popular fish markets in the country. And what do they sell? Well, you guessed it. Seafood, fruit, and vegetables. Here's what makes this place special. Its location. Situated right in the heart of the city, between the beautiful fjords and Bergen's seven majestic mountains, the fish market has been a bustling meeting place for traders and fishermen since the 1200s. Now, when you visit, you can expect to find an abundance of fresh fish, seafood, and even locally sourced farm food like fruits, berries, and veggies. Here at the fish market, they offered Norwegian stockfish, which is a prized delicacy and a significant part of Norway's cultural heritage, especially when made from cod. Throughout the Viking Age and the medieval period, this product played a crucial role in generating most of Norway's trade income. And if you're in the mood to dine out, there are several restaurants serving up a wide selection of delicious seafood dishes. Keep in mind that the indoor fish market operates all year round, which is great news for seafood lovers. In 2012, the indoor fish market, also known as Methallin, was opened. Here, you'll find permanent shops and restaurants that cater to seafood enthusiasts all year round. How convenient is that? They do have varieties of cheese. Ready to eat items for takeaways. Then another section we saw fruit preserves, cookies, and baked items. We walked towards the dine-in area and thought to try a few items available on their menu. Their warm and inviting restaurant features windows that overlook Bregan, providing a truly breathtaking view. While I was struggling to capture the moment with my camera and take selfies, the lady attending to our table displayed great kindness and assisted us in capturing lovely photos against the stunning backdrop. We opted for two varieties of soups, fish soup, shellfish soup. 
We also treated ourselves to a delicious shellfish symphony platter. We received a warm welcome with a serving of freshly baked soft bread accompanied by butter. While we were relishing the outside view from the cozy and warm restaurant, despite the super cold weather, our first order arrived. Two types of soups, fish soup and shellfish soup. Next up was the magnificent shellfish symphony platter featuring grilled langoustines and crab with garlic oil, then stone crab, snow crab, and boiled and chilled fresh shrimps, along with mussels steamed in a white wine and garlic broth. Additionally, there was a second option of mussels steamed in a creamy spicy sauce. As we have a fondness for spicy dishes, we chose the second option. Overall, the presentation, freshness, flavor, ambiance, and everything else were excellent. We thoroughly enjoyed our dining experience at the Bergen Fish Market. But if you prefer to enjoy the market in the open air, you'll be happy to know that the outdoor fish market stays open throughout the summer season. The outdoor market is closed in winter. A few fruit and vegetable vendors will be open on Saturdays. It's fascinating to think about how this market has been around for centuries, facilitating trade between fishermen, farmers, and the people of Bergen. We bought some dried whale meat from the outdoor fish market. Speaking of history, did you know that the first fish market in Bergen was located near Briggen in the Nikola Kirke Almening area? When the Hanseatic League came to Bergen in the 1300s, the area was filled with German merchants, and the city grew fast. Until the 1500s, the local merchants continued to trade in the Briggen area. But in 1541, a demand was put forward to move the market to prevent the Hanseatics from gaining too much power over the city's most important trading place for the citizens of Bergen. In 1556, the fish market was moved to the inner part of Wagen and established itself as the central trading venue in Bergen. The fish market became increasingly important and grew with the surrounding area. So next time you find yourself in Bergen, make sure to pay a visit to the fish market. Whether you're in the mood to shop for some fresh seafood or indulge in a tasty meal, this market has got you covered. In this episode, we explored Bergen's fish market and learned about its rich history as a trade venue for seafood, fruits, and vegetables dating back to the 1200s. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next one, and don't forget to subscribe.